Good evening, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, tonight we're going to talk about the building the backstay for the HBM. The, um, the Kerns have got it without a backstay and obviously um, Les who owned it prior to me, also, he didn't have it. So it's somewhere along the line over the years uh, was lost. So uh, I'll show you what I've um, what I what I'm looking at doing. This is this is a, a, a different one. This is one's up for sale. Somebody's interested in that. And the backstay is a casting with two columns and a threaded uh, unit and a bush in the back here, and that can be adjusted to suit the. Um, uh, the height of the boring uh, required. So I've um, I've decided to build one uh, because I've given up on the idea of maybe being able to buy uh, to buy one. Um, and it's obviously gone to the rubbish, I would think. So uh, without further ado, I'll show you how I've started to work on this. Um, we by the way we've we've got the camera on the um, on the Noga holder. And uh, it worked very good, so we'll just try and come in a bit closer here, and I'll get rid of that. Um, I'll get rid of that that drill. I'll get that. Put that down. Now what I've done today, yesterday I cut a couple of pieces of plate up, but what I've done today is I've clamped everything together. I machined out um, relief on on these uh, these parts in the centre here, um, so that they will go in underneath the covers. The, let's just see if you can see those covers. Now these these what you're seeing here is the is the um, the way covers. I'll take that clamp off. Um, now having a <coughs> having a mag drill allowed me to um, to do a lot of this work without much doing much layout at all. So what I've um, what I've done here is uh, I've made it so that it's free to go over the way, um, so that uh, I don't have to worry about having to take these off the way covers, I should say. <coughs> so. They're stepped out at, the, at this side and they're stepped out there. So we'll be able to wind, uh, we'll just wind this along. We're able to wind the, the table through. And that, it, at the moment, it's got a stopper there because it's got um, a packer. I've put a packer in here to pack this side out to give it some freedom in, in the bottom. And the same on the other side. So, But that will be able to wind through there. So it doesn't matter where we put this um, We'll still be we'll still have our way covers on, which is uh, great. Now what I've done, um, I might take the camera off there in a second. Uh, so what I did was I um, I made up a little L brackets here, just tacked them together. Same on the other side. I machined these two um, units, and, and for me, what I want is is these sections of the way to be in the inside to be the actual. Um, the lining up and everything else. So in order to make sure that I don't have any uh, deviation there, we clamped everything together and I've used the mag drill to drill. So I had very little layout to do. It just gave me, it's, um, I didn't have to keep marking up and, and measuring and that sort of thing. I just laid it in, run a line through it and drilled it. Now what I've, I haven't finished drilling and tapping and bolting everything down, but I've done enough to, to keep it. So with these two, I've actually drilled, reamed and put dowel pins in. So those two are locked up in place and there'll be two more screws to go in here. Um, on the outsides, this one's okay and that one as well. These two will have to be removable so that we can lift this whole thing off um, because I'm a bit tight here for room to be able to manoeuvre it off. So what I want to do is I want to re remove those two. So I may go ahead and weld the key that goes in here, I may weld that to that plate, or I may bolt it. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. <coughs> so then, these will be uh, be undone. The thing will be put into place. And there's also, I've got to make uh, locking screws on on this side. The other side, not, but on this side, I'll make locking screws. So when that's set in place and we put it where we want to put it, 
and then we just screw those locky screws and that'll that'll uh, that'll be locked into place but level and centering and everything else goes according to these internal ways here on this side here there's a groove on that side there's not there's a ledge so this only this side could be the um, the lock up side uh, so but that that ledge allows us to have so there's no uplift and in essence this back stay doesn't have a lot of load it needs to be more robust because of the environment that it's in so <clears throat> and for that reason also um, I've just used whatever I've got in stock I haven't gone looking uh, I started this this morning and, and knocked it up and, and progressively today I've been drilling tapping fitting pinning and so forth and um, we'll complete that and once we've completed that then we'll start work looking at putting up the columns um, and uh, and and the the, the leveling device and that'll be there's quite a bit of engineering thought to go into it um, so there we have it for today that's the first uh, the first in the series